what do the top clubs need to do to catch Manchester City? Well, Ali Moreno is joining me now to talk through this conundrum. Let's start with Liverpool, shall we, Ali Moreno? What do Liverpool need to do to close that gap? Yeah, this is tough because it's... The obvious answer is, well, you need to have options for players to step in and do a job when Mohamed Salah and Sadio Mane are gone to the African Cup of Nations, which then would, uh, would suggest that you need to deepen the squad. Well, Liverpool has a really deep squad themselves. They have players that can come in and do a job. Now, of course, and not to the level of Salah and Sadio Mane, but then again, I just don't know how much deeper you can get if you are Liverpool uh, you could do something about addressing perhaps some of the issues that you've had defensively because of injuries. You could address perhaps somebody who put, could potentially could come in and score a few goals. But isn't that what Super Divo Corrigi does when somebody else uh, is uh, it's not informed that he comes in and scores a big goal? Uh, at some point, Roberto Firmino has to score a goal or two, maybe. Uh, so, I, I mean, the names are there as to what they do in order to close the gap to Manchester City. It's not happening this season, I don't think. So you're going to have to kind of think about in general terms as to into the future, what is it that uh, makes Manchester City consistent that you haven't been nearly as consistent on your end if you're Liverpool? And, and part of that discussion will be, yes, you need to have the ability to rotate players in and out because they, don't, they just don't have it nearly as much as Manchester City does. But on the same hand, on the same on the same hand, on the same argument, I would suggest that you know there are times in which I look at Manchester City and I, and I say, well, they need a striker, they need a goal scorer. So is there potential for Manchester City to get better? Is there potential for them to actually improve upon some of the things that they're doing? They're doing what they're doing without an actual recognizable goal scorer, and so. It's scary to think on those and from that perspective if you're Liverpool or anybody else and say this may not even be the best version, potentially, of Manchester City. That's very scary to think about, isn't it? Uh, what about Chelsea then, LA? What do they need to do? Well, they need to figure out what is it that they're going to do with Romelu Lukaku first and foremost. And this sort of power struggle that they got going on uh, between him and Thomas Tuchel and, and the organization and and this flirting of Romelu Lukaku with Inter and whoever else. Uh, at some point, somebody's got to sit him down and say, Romelu, come here, come here, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, sit down. Come and talk to me. What in the world are you doing flirting with Inter when you're here with Chelsea? You sign a major, major contract to come here and be the guy who's scoring goals. Now, it hasn't been easy for you. There's been some difficulties. Perhaps you see the game different than Thomas Tuchel does. How about you adapt? How about you adjust? Instead of flirting with somebody else who's not here, how about you adjust with what you got right in front of you? All right? So kids and make up with Thomas Suho and be the guy who's going to score the goals because it's not coming from Timo Werner or Kai Havert. That, that's not the answer. And so figure that out first if you're Chelsea. Figure the productivity out of Romelu Lukaku and then go back to the basic things that made you successful in your Champions League run. You have to defend better. You have to defend better individually as a group, and the shape of your team has to be much better. Huh? Was it, hold on a second. Wasn't, wasn't Jorginho supposed to be the super-duper superstar in the world? Why did he not win the Ballon d'Or? My goodness. And he still can't defend, right? So that part of it has to improve, that they have to control what the structure of their team is, and defensively they have to manage the game properly so that they keep their – they're defending as solid as they possibly can. And then they get a few goals here and there from Lukaku. Now they're winning games with some consistency. Now they can hope and dream that they can challenge Manchester City. Good luck with that. Would it be too cheeky to say that United, Arsenal and Spurs need to pray for a miracle? Uh, no. I don't think. First of all, that's, that's not going to be enough. Uh, prayer will help you soothe your soul but it will not help you on the field. These teams have no chance, zero chance. The, da- the gap and the difference between them and Manchester City right now, it's beyond prayer. But hey, go ahead. I'm all for it. Soothe your soul, make your peace, but it's not going to be enough. 
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.